Hey guys, so I wanted to do a really quick video on my skincare routine. So about a little over a month and a half ago, I went to the dermatologist and was prescribed some medications to help with my acne routine. So I want to talk about that really quick and how that's going for me. Um, in the background, you can see that I have a different shower curtain than normal. It's a really solid, plain yellow shower curtain. I don't know how well it will show up other than it might just look a little bit off-white in the background, but it actually is yellow. I had a lot of positive comments about my shower curtain in the background and most people really like it and think it's really fun, but there was a few people that thought it was really distracting, so I wanted to try to change it up a little bit and uh, do something a little different. Today I did my little side braid. It was my brother's graduation today, so this is the makeup that I wore and the side braid that I did, which um, I really enjoyed. It kept my bangs out of my face all day long, so I didn't have to worry about them, and I just have this affixed with two little um, bobby pins and it stayed in place all day so I was really excited about that. I actually did a video about that um, this hair tutorial about three weeks ago so I can put it in the sidebar if you guys are interested in watching. So I want to get started with the routine. So if you guys didn't, if any of you guys didn't get to see my video before I'll just go really quickly through the things that I was prescribed. The first thing that I was prescribed is this Triaz pad. It's called it's a benzoyl peroxide pad and I was prescribed the 3% foaming cloth. This comes in two different strengths, 3% and 6%. So it's just a little rectangular um, face pad that's folded in half. You moisten it and wash your face with it. Um, I use this twice a day, once in the morning and once at night before bed. Um, it's a really nice soft foaming cloth. It doesn't leave my face too dry, but I also always moisturize every day after I wash my face. So that might be also why I'm not having any problems. For people who don't moisturize, definitely that should be a step in your um, skincare routine. Now the second thing that I was prescribed is a cream. It's a night cream called Diana. It's a clindamycin phosphate 1.2% and tretinoin 0.025% gel. It's, um, it is just like what you would expect. It's a gel. It's got like a yellowy sort of texture consistency as you can see. I squirted a little bit out. And it comes in this big tube, so you use just a little bit of uh, pea-sized amount on your finger, wipe it all over your face. Um, I think that this is really, really an awesome product, so I'm really glad that I was prescribed this. I put this on right before going to bed after I wash my face with my face pad. And you just use a little bit, and I use this once a day. It does have a slight weird smell to it, but once you put it on and you go to bed, it doesn't really bother you. If I had to wear this throughout the day, that might be a different consideration um, when you're having to use a product like this. And then the last thing that I have is uh, an antibiotic prescription. And this is an antibiotic called Solodyne. It's a 45 milligram tablet that I take once a day with a full glass of water. And you're not supposed to take it too late in the evening because it can make you drowsy. So you're supposed to take it at least um, a half an hour before you're going to like lay down or anything like that. So that's basically the routine that I'm using. I've been using it for about a little over a month and a half now. And I've had a couple of follow-up uh, visits with the doctor. Once after two weeks, then another two weeks, and now it's like at a month. And I have seen a drastic decrease in the amount of pimples that are on my face. So the problems that I was mostly having were centralized around my cheek and chin area. And what I was getting were these gigantic deep pimples that went really deep into my skin and didn't want to come out, didn't want to go away. They just want to sit there. And then when they finally went away, they left these terrible scars on my cheeks. And so I went right away to the dermatologist to take care of it because I was having this terrible scarring and I was terrified that that's the way my skin was going to look for the rest of my life. So I've been using this routine religiously. I'm really bad at routines like this because at the end of the night sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't want to wash my face or I forget to take the antibiotic or whatever. But I've been trying really hard to do this every day. I have seen, first of all, a, a great decrease in the number of blackheads on my nose and just my entire face in general. And I think that's a tribute to the face wash because you get there and they're really good with this. It's got a little bit of a texture to it and it helps to sort of wash away and break down that buildup on your face. So I've seen a great decrease in my blackheads on my face, which was something I wasn't really expecting. Now the second thing I've seen is that I've had really no large deep pimples since I started this treatment. The first week or two, I did see a slight increase in pimples on my face, but that's normal with most acne treatments because you're kind of purging all the stuff that was already in your skin. So I saw a slight increase in that, but no major problems other than that. I've had the occasional pimple on the cheek. Um, I can show you as best as I can in the lighting here. I have one 
a little pimple here that's sort of healing that just kind of popped up with the other day but no other major big pimples mostly what I'm left with is um, some red spots that are kind of healing on my face and I'm really pleased with the results so no gigantic pimples since I've started this routine which is fantastic it's helping to deal with my problems so yeah I'm really pleased with the results so far I think it's gonna take a little bit more time of using these products to help purge my face of the rest of the pimples that I have on there and to get a really healthy routine going so that so that I can keep my face clear of any major acne issues so I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day